been wanting to vlog for a long time now. I'm currently doing my makeup now. I'm getting ready for a video, so I'm about to film a haul. I really feel good about this vlog this time because I actually have filmed content months ago. So when the summer first started, I actually filmed vlog content. I was doing pretty good. In fact, I have vlogged maybe like a few weeks and I just never posted it. But I feel really good about this this time around. I feel more comfortable, I feel more open, so we're gonna do it. Wait, I forgot to also say, hey, tea party. <laughs> My mom named you guys Tea Party. Like, she thought it would be so cool for all of you guys that support me on social media to be called Tea Party. I ran the idea by you guys on Instagram. A few of you guys said that you really liked it. Only maybe like three of you guys even commented and said, <laughs> said anything about it, but since all of three of you said yeah, that's what y'all call it now. So hey tea party. Oh my head is itchy. I have not washed my hair in uh probably like three weeks. No, it's probably been two weeks. I keep not wanting to wash my hair. That's just it. That's the truth. I don't want to wash my hair. Because it's a lot of freaking work. Just do my lips first and let the mascara dry. You know what? I actually put some snot on this too. <laughs> I hope I didn't put the snot pod on my lip. Well, it's my snot, so it's okay. I could wear this orange, but orange and pink? Is that weird? Let's just do it. I think I can dig it. So it's kind of dark because the sunlight is coming from this way. But I am, I've am i already had one cup of coffee, and I'm going to make another one because... <laughs> I'm about to go to Starbucks to do both schoolwork and edit a video. And I don't wanna buy coffee when I can make it at the house for the free. So this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to make myself my own cup of coffee, put it in a Starbucks cup. <laughs> And go to Starbucks and act like I just went to another Starbucks to get my coffee, you know. So I'm making this cup and then I'm going to actually tell you guys about something that happened to me yesterday, which kind of rocked my world a little bit. So I'm going to make this. I'm actually waiting on my footage to transfer over to my laptop so that I can edit but I want it, I want more coffee and then I need to get food because that's important. What time is it? I need my Fitbit so I can know the time. So what time is it? It's 10.34, that's a good time. I actually need to call and make an appointment, make a, make a nail appointment because I need to get my hands done. And I'm actually in a wedding, so I have to get a specific color, but I don't think I think I'm going to get that next week because the wedding is two weeks from now, I think. The bridal shower is this weekend, so that'll be fun. I, she sent us nail colors, but I don't know if that's for the bridal shower and the wedding or just the wedding. So I'm going to have to look at the text message again. And I actually need to practice piano. So, oh, I want to show you guys my wall. So I have this thing where... I am creating a collage on my wall of these type of canvases. I can't turn my camera around, but these type of canvases and all of it is like a representation of what I do in this room. So this is my beauty room and I film in here and I'm also doing makeup related stuff. So I want everything to be about that. And I just get them at random spots. It's not like I'm in a hurry to fill this wall. It's actually fun when I find them. So right now I have Hustle. I have lipsticks that have, um, this has a little shimmer on it. And I have this, which is actually my favorite. And it's a Canon camera and some film, which I don't I don't use film, I mean, but it's my favorite. And then this, I think is my second favorite, the Create one, because in this room I create and it's, it just, it touches, it touches me. That one touches me as well as the Canon one. These two are my favorites. And then this one right here, which is makeup makes everything better. And I love the drawings. Like this is so aesthetically pleasing. I just cannot. So yeah, that's, that's my wall. And we're going to be finding those in my vlogs as well as other things, you know. Now, what I was coming over here for was that I actually, I'm not a pro. 
<laughs> but I do play piano. I'm in piano lessons and I actually have less a lesson tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm still a beginner, but I really wanted to learn how to play piano. And I, so I just found a teacher and she's been teaching me and it's really fun. So I have to practice every day. So you guys are gonna practice with me really quick. I'm gonna play the song I'm actually kind of decent at <laughs> first. <laughs> so yeah, let me set you guys up. So I have my footage on my laptop now. Now I'm going to close out everything so I can get ready to go. So not a lot of people know this, but I do go to the gym a lot. And today's today I'm not going. So <laughs> that's all I wanted to say about that. <laughs> so I won't be going to the gym today. I'll probably go tomorrow. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something. It just so happened that the next day I decide, let me get back into vlogging. So yesterday, well, let me, let me start from, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised here. And I'm 21 now. And a portion of my life I lived in actual Memphis. And then a portion of my life I lived in a surrounding area of Memphis. So the surrounding areas of Memphis are safer. So living in the suburbs is safer than actually living in the city, which is the most case for uh, most cities. <laughs> so if you don't live in Memphis, if you're not from Memphis, if you don't have family from Memphis, you probably have seen Memphis on the news. <laughs> If you have not seen Memphis on the news, then you probably know a few things, you know, just about Memphis. Like you probably know Elvis about Memphis, or you probably know Martin Luther King Jr. Or you probably know about barbecue, because we're like the best barbecue ever. <laughs> In my vlogs, I am going to be taking you guys to my favorite spots. So, yeah. But anyway, um, what I'm trying to get to is that Memphis is actually top five as far as like crime. Top five not safest top five non top five not safe <laughs> what am i trying to say top five not safe that's what it is and so being from here you either have seen something go down you either have friends that you know that have been victims of violence or you you have it just kind of goes with being from being in a city or being in a place that has a lot of crime so yesterday all of that to say yesterday i was going to the gym like a normal occurrence my mom actually me and my mom go to the go to the same gym obviously we, i live with my parents and um so we both have a gym membership to the same gym and my mom actually works out a lot longer than i do so i like to go with separate cars so she actually lived before me and was already at the gym because I had to finish up some stuff with posting on social media. Pulled up to the gym and I actually recognized where my mom was parked and it just so happened that there was a spot open right next to her. And so I pull into the spot and it's like this car, literally right after I pull into the spot, I feel a car pulls up kind of behind me and it was quick too. It was like, zoop, 
And, but I knew that the car had stopped right behind. So I get out of the car and it's this big truck, like an 18-wheeler truck that is delivering stuff to the store that's right next to the gym that I go to. And I saw him come out of the truck, like get some boxes and come out the truck and go inside. And the car pulled up. Maybe he was watching him. I don't know. The passenger guy gets out the car, runs into the truck because the truck was left open, grabs two boxes jumps back in the car and drives off now keep in mind all of this is happening and they see me watching them they see me watching them and i'm like i cannot believe this is happening right now that's what my mind went to i was just like is this really happening am i really witnessing a robbery or whatever it is a theft a burglary whatever i don't one is with a weapon one is without a weapon and they didn't i don't think they had any weapons um but like you see all these crime shows and on the crime shows, you know, like if you're a witness to something or they dramatize it to where if you're a witness to something, you are in danger. Like at that point, you are in danger if you're witnessing something happen because they don't want to get caught. Like no one who does a crime wants to get caught. So I'm seeing this. I'm watching this and I'm trying not to be noticed because I'm just I'm literally walking past and he's just looking like, what? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> And I just keep walking. Like, I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. They drive off. And then the guy that who was with the that was driving the truck comes out of like even telling this story, I'm getting scared all over again. Like I'm getting nervous. Like, what the heck? Did I really witness that? You know, like I'm I feel like I'm getting nervous. Anyway, so he comes out, he comes out the store. And I said, hey, is this your truck right here? He was like, this big truck? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling y'all the whole story like y'all was there. After he said, yeah. And I was like, two dudes just came and stole some boxes out the back of your truck. And he was like, what they steal? I'm thinking, I don't know. And they stupid for stealing because you don't even know what you're stealing. It's just two boxes. I just, that just baffled me. When people steal like packages out people front porch or just stealing boxes in general like you don't even know what's in there why are you stealing why are you a thief i just i don't get that the whole thing in general so anyway that's what happened to me yesterday well i mean i'm saying it like if something happened to me that's what i witnessed yesterday and it was not it is it's scaring me all over again because it's just like wow like you you shouldn't have to see stuff like that you know and it makes you scared to even go places. Like, a part of the reason why I'm not going to the gym today, I told you guys that earlier, is because I don't want, I just don't want to go over there right now. And I just, I, I'm just kind of like, I just want to take a day off of going in that area. And it just, it's make, like, things could have been, things could have went totally left. It could have been that they, like, shot me or they uh, kidnapped me because I'm a witness or something like that. You know, anything could have happened and just thank the universe that that did not happen. So yeah, I just want to quickly tell you guys that that was scary. It was scary and I mean, I'll get over it, but so I got my coffee and I'm going to actually head to Starbucks. Well, actually I want to get some food first, so we're going to go get in the car. There is a fly. I see him. I hate flies. And there is a epidemic of flies in Memphis, Tennessee. They keep getting in the house. I just don't get it. Got my backpack. <laughs> like I'm a student. Well, I am a student. But. So I made it to Starbucks. I'm just gonna eat outside really quick before I go in. I got Chick-fil-A, my favorite. And yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, what did they give me? I did order nuggets. <laughs> but uh, I'm about to eat really quick and watch YouTube. So I'll see you guys inside. I do know what work I need to get done, but 
I just hate it, I forgot it. So, something that's due Thursday, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it today. Today is Tuesday. Um, so, yeah. Freaking fly. But anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to continue to post vlogs. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well as check out my previous video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.